So next, I have the privilege of introducing my colleague in the English department, Herman Beavers. Herman is an expert on 19th and 20th century African American and American literature. And his teaching includes courses on Southern modernism, African American poetry, and a course on the literatures of jazz required for all our jazz and popular music minors. He's the author of <laughs> Wrestling Angels into Song, The Fictions of Ernest J. Gaines and James Alec McPherson. And to, in addition, Herman himself is an accomplished poet. His work has appeared in a number of publications, and he's published a chapbook called A Neighborhood of Feeling. And Herman's lecture today is on Morrison, jazz, and postmodernity. Please join me in welcoming Herman Beavers. Thank you, and good morning. Toni Morrison's jazz is a novel playing the changes on Fitzgerald's The Great Gatsby. It is postmodern in its use of Southern migration in the 1900s to talk about the condition our present condition is in. How do I reach such a conclusion? Clue number one, Wall Street and Harlem are located on the island of Manhattan. Clue number two, when the socialite asked Louis Armstrong to define jazz, he replied, lady, if you gotta ask, you'll never know. Clue number three, Todd Armstrong, no relation to Lewis, observes, the body is central to modernism. Clue number four, when Louis Armstrong sings, what did I do to be so black and blue? He's making poetry out of being invisible. Where do these clues lead us? Postulate number one, the term jazz age is a contradiction. Jazz is not a noun, but a verb. Postulate number two, Gatsby doesn't swing because it doesn't know how to sing the blues. Postulate number three, jazz is a heuretic text. It flips the script. Don't pontificate, interpretate. Thank you. <laughs> 